Hello, 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 happy Tuesday. It is time for the power of re with me, your coach, Deloria Michelle. Where are my re warriors at on tonight? Where are my re warriors at? It is time for the power of re with me, your coach, Deloria Michelle, on this terrific Tuesday. On this terrific Tuesday, happy re Tuesday. Happy re Tuesday. While you all are logging on, just want to say good evening to everyone. And I wanted to encourage you all, go, 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 go to the website. Somebody put the website up for me, www.deloriamichelle.com. Go to the website. You guys, I want you to go to the website, respond to the blogs. I want you to sign up for the newsletter that is coming out. We got some great things that are happening that are getting ready to take place with Total Reset. If you need a life coach, I want you to go ahead and complete your client intake form. Let's have a consultation. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's get you to a place to where we can coach you to a better place to where we can coach you to that desired place where you want to be. So go to my website, www. DeloriaMichelle.com. Yes, we are here. I see my awesome, wonderful pastor leader, Pastor Jamila on. Good evening. I see all of my sisters in Christ on here. Good evening. Good evening. Tracy, it's good to see you. Yes, I'm feeling better. Yes, it's time for re, 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 the power of re. Go ahead and type re-warrior in the comment section. Thank you, Natasha. Go ahead and type re-warrior. If you are a re-warrior, meaning that you, you know how to go through and you know that no matter how many times it takes for you to get a thing right, you can always use the power of re and redo that thing, retry that thing, watch God restore that thing, watch you re recover. Come on, re-warriors, where you at on tonight? Hi, Sharon. That's one of my neighbors growing up when I was a child in murder school, Sharon. Nice, good to see you on here tonight. So I, I encourage you all, go to my website, www.hinelaye.deloriamichelle.com. Sign up for your newsletter. Comment on the blogs. Comment, I mean, comment on the blogs. Go ahead and fill out your intake form. It's all right to need a coach. It is okay to need a coach. I needed a coach myself. And still at times, I need a coach. It's okay to be coached through some things. Amen. So tonight, Rewarriors, our reword for this Tuesday night is restore. 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 So many of us knows, know that restore simply means to bring back to a place of existence, to bring, bring back to a former place. Um, I looked it up in the dictionary. It says to bring back or to put back in a former or an original state, to bring back into existence. Many of us have lost some things and we need to be restored. We need to be restored in our faith. We need to be restored in our joy. We need to be restored in, in, our, in, our, in our faith, in our walk. We need restoration. And God can give us restoration just as he did with Israel in the, in the book of Joel when he said, I will restore. In Joel 2 and 25, I believe it is. He said, I will restore. The years that the locust and the canker worm and the caterpillar, the years that they have eaten up. So the years that you have lost, don't think it, don't focus so much on what you've lost, but focus on the fact that God can restore everything that you have lost. There is nothing that you've lost that God cannot restore. And I know that the definition of restore means to bring back to a former or an original state. But my thing is when God restores a thing, when God does a work of restoration in our life, God just doesn't restore it to the former state that it was. But when we get to a place of restoration and he restores us, God restores 
restores us to a better place. So I know that we may be going through a loss or have experienced a loss and didn't know how we were going to get back to a good place. But God is a God of restoration. And when we get to a place of repentance, just like Israel had to do when he restored them, they got to a place of repentance. And when he restored, he restored them to a place of abundance. So the place where you are now or that place where you may have experienced where there have been some type of loss and you need to be restored repent to God get in God's face allow God to work on your behalf allow God to work in your situation and allow God to perform a work of restoration allow God to restore that which you've lost and when you get to a place of where you restore and he's restoring you in a place of restoration that place is better than where you were before Prime example, when I went through a season, a period in my life, I lost all my joy. I lost all my joy. And I needed for God to restore my joy. I lost my joy. I lost my faith. There was no hope. But when I got in a, in a place to where I went back to God and I turned back to God and I believed God and I cried out to God to restore unto me the joy of his salvation, then God did a work of restoration in me and the joy that I experienced when he restored it was greater than the joy, any type of joy I had experienced in my life. Uh, the, the, the peace that I experienced was greater than any peace I had ever experienced in my life. When God does a work of res restoration and when he restores a thing, he restores us to a better place. A place that we've never experienced before. But it's our responsibility to repent and allow God to restore so that we can recover everything that we've lost. Amen. So our reword on tonight is restore, restore, restore. I hope this word has blessed you all. I want you to share this video and encourage somebody that may be going through. Drop this nugget in their spirit that God is a God of restoration. Before we leave, one scripture I want to read. One scripture I want to read to you. First Peter 5 and 10. He says, and the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, let me read that again, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. So after you have suffered for a little while, just for a little while, weeping and do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. After you've gone through your night season, after you suffered a little while, God himself will restore you and make you strong. He will make you firm and make you steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. So the little suffering that we're going through is only for a little while. And after we go through that suffering, God is going to restore us. Amen. God bless you. I hope you've enjoyed the power of re on tonight with me, your coach, Deloria Michelle. I'll see you here next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. for the power of re. Go to my website, www.deloriamichelle.com. Comment on the blog. Sign up for the newsletter. More than that, sign up for your coaching session. That's, that's our, it for tonight for our Power of Read. See you on next Tuesday. Good night, Re-Warriors.